everybody. Dr. Becky here for your long form better brain tip for the first week in January. And I want to share four tips that might be a little bit surprising to you related to things that you can do to improve the health of your brain. Then I'm going to offer a bonus tip that likely isn't going to be all that surprising, but I just wanted to share with you five tips. And um, to go back a bit, my name is Dr. Becky. I am the owner of Holistic Alzheimer's Prevention Program. And I like to come on here and offer better brain tips that anybody can use to improve the health of their brain so that each and every one of you can minimize, and if you're lucky, prevent your risk of ever getting Alzheimer's or dementia in the first place. So the first tip that I want to leave you this week is related to drinking green tea. There is a chemical compound in green tea. It's about this long. It's called epigallocatechin gallate. And it is a specialized antioxidant that helps improve blood flow to the brain. And it helps to enhance and increase cognitive function as well as enhance memory storage and memory recall. So again, drinking green tea is a phenomenal thing you can do to, for the health of your brain. And the second tip that I want to give you is related to taking, oh no, I'm going to back up a minute. The second tip is another food-based tip, and that is eating beets. And for those of you who don't like beets, you can definitely take beets in a supplement form, but I would certainly prefer if you eat beets. And the reason that beets are so important for improving the health of your brain is that beets are loaded with nitrates. And nitrates, once we ingest them, then they convert to nitric oxide in our body. And once it converts to nitric oxide in our body, nitric oxide helps to bring oxygen and nutrients to our brain cells. So again, it's bathing our brain with the nutrients that we need to support optimal brain health. So if you could make it a, a habit of two or three times a week, eating beets, either cooking beets up or, um, cutting them up in a salad or adding them to um, a juice in the morning. I don't care how you get your beets in, but if a couple days a week you can get beets in, that's going to help your brain a lot. The third tip that I want to give you that you might not think about when you think about improving brain health is to take a walk in nature. And if you could take a walk in nature, just 10 minutes can do a whole lot of great good for your brain. When you are outside walking in nature, it helps to stimulate a neurochemical in the brain that's called BDNF. And BDNF is brain derived neurotrophic factor. And that neurochemical can actually help you to make brand new brain cells. And I know a lot of people out there maybe don't even know that it's possible to make brand new brain cells, but you can make brand new brain cells. Pay no attention to my crazy cat who's uh, deciding now it's a great time to play. But anyway, if you can take a walk out in nature and enjoy um, stimulating that neurochemical BDNF, you will make brand new brain cells, which is amazing. And Tip number four is to start enjoying aromatherapy if you're not a person who enjoys aromatherapy. And there was a really cool um, research article that was published in August, last August, so August of 2023. And um, in that research article, again, pay no attention to my sweet little dotty Pearl who thinks it's time to play. But in that research article in August of 2023, they studied people, um, they used, they diffused specific scents um, on a nightly basis for six consecutive months. And every night, a different scent was diffused in the diffuser. And so some of the scents that were used were rose, lavender, orange, lemon, 
rosemary. And there's more, and I will, again, on all of these tips that I'm giving you today, I'm gonna leave each researched journal article so you can see the peer-reviewed research on these tips that I'm giving today. But when people diffused these specific scents every single night, again, rotating them through, they would, at bedtime they would just turn their diffuser on with a specific essential oil, go to sleep, um, at the end of the six month study, they saw on imaging, so when they took pictures of the brain, they could see improved neuroconnectivity in the brain, but then on written tests, they scored better on the written test when they did the pre-testing and they looked to see how well they did on these cognitive function tests. And then at the end of six months, they repeated those tests and performed significantly better. So again, if you can rotate different scents in a diffuser every night at bedtime, that's also going to stimulate new neural connections in the brain to improve brain health. And the fifth tip that I have for you, which won't likely be a surprising tip, but that is um, if you're not a fan yet of um, playing a Sudoku game, I would encourage you to start playing Sudoku. You can play them online or you can play them, you know, pen to paper too. But what's really interesting, and there are many different brain games, and I'm going to talk over the course of the next year, I'm going to talk about different brain games um, on a regular basis. But Sudoku is really cool because it's been used a lot related to what's called neuro rehabilitation. So people that have suffered with brain injuries were given the tasks of doing these Sudoku games, again, to help to rehab their brain and help to stimulate neural connections. So if you could start playing Sudoku 10, 15 minutes a day, that's gonna be of great benefit too. So just as a recap, I want you to drink more green tea. I want you to eat beets. I want you to take a walk in nature. I want you to smell specific scents. And then I also want you to play Sudoku. If you can add these five things into your normal routine, day in, day out, each of those things that you're doing will build one upon the other to ensure that you have a better brain. And that's the whole purpose of us getting together to give you the tips to build a better brain. Thank you so much. And I'll see you on Monday for my one minute short related to another better brain tip. So again, for the entire month of 2024, Monday through, or the whole year, I'm sorry, the whole year of 2024, Monday through Friday, I'm going to come on with a one minute short, just a quick brain tip every day Monday through Friday and then on the weekend I will give a longer form video that will then kind of highlight the science about why you want to do the things to support the health of your brain so thank you for hanging out with me if you found this information beneficial please hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so that you know when I come on with another better brain tip and if you can share this information with loved ones who can benefit, that would be wonderful too. Take care. I'll see you Monday morning with a quick short. Take care.